Hi there, my name is Tanner Phillips and what you are watching is my final presentation for Pathway for the section on the Old Testament survey. Okay, so what I want to talk about today on this thought and on this subject of uh, the Old Testament and really the idea of is the Old Testament still needed? I think a lot of times in today's day and age that we get so caught up a lot of times in just New Testament and maybe we only want to talk about the Gospels or we only want to talk about Acts um, or you want to jump to Revelation. And so in this little short uh, little section here, I want to talk about the Old Testament and why I feel that it is still important for us that we need to study it, that we still need to know about it. Um, and that the Old Testament, what it does is that it really helps us understand the entire Bible and it brings a more enriching experience to the whole thing. Um, we need to understand that the Old Testament, that it is a journey that is getting us to Christ. Uh, so many times we just, you know, we jump right into, like I said earlier, right to the Gospels. We talk about Jesus um, and that's great. But in order for us to really see the greatness that Christ is and was when, when he was on the earth during those times, that we need to know the Old Testament. We need to know, um, we need to know what was prophesied. We need to know what God was doing in those days when God was making covenants with his people, when God was selecting leaders to lead his nation, uh, bringing people out of bondage, that all that stuff is so important that if we don't understand that in the Old Testament, we will never get the full experience out of the New Testament. And so one of these things I want to talk about uh, real quickly here is just a short section of this that I feel is so important and that is the Holy Spirit. Now, again, it's one of those things of you talk about the Holy Spirit and we automatically just want to jump to Acts. And that's where we're going to see so many things. And I have a scripture that I'll share here in a minute from Acts talking about some stuff. But I want to talk about what God said and what God says about the Holy Spirit and his spirit directly to different time frames and different types of people. I have a scripture I want to read to you. And this is from the Old Testament, and this is from the book of Joel. It's Joel chapter 2, verse 29. And it says, Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Now, what is so important about this is that during this time of the Old Testament, that not anybody could just have full access uh, to God and to his spirit, that there were just selected people during the Old Testament. And it wasn't until Christ came and, and then paid the price and, and then the Holy Spirit came back to us that we now all freely have it. But back then, that if you were alive during those times pre-Jesus, that you had to be a, a somebody, maybe it was a, a priest or whoever, and you were the one that you would have the access to God. And maybe, you know, you would go into the Holy of Holies and you would represent a nation or whatever it might be. But during this time, what Joel was saying is that there's a time coming when God's going to pour out his spirit upon all men upon all creation. It's going to be available to everybody. And yet during this time, they didn't have that and they didn't know. So it was just a foretelling of what might come. And I want to read you another scripture. It's Acts chapter 2, verse 18. It says, and it's very similar to what Joel was saying there, of, even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days and they will prophesy. Almost the exact same thing that we're reading here, but so far apart as far as time frames here. And, you know, if you know it all, that during the book of Acts that we begin to see God pouring his spirit out, that they were gathered in the upper room and that the Holy Spirit fell and they began to, to pray in other tongues and they went out and they began to make disciples and, and all these things. But that we can't just jump to Acts and just live our life off of Acts when there is a whole other book that is leading us up and to this point, and that it makes that moment in Acts so much greater when you understand that this has been thousands of years coming to get to this point of the Holy Spirit being poured out upon us. And so when we think about, is the Old Testament really needed? Absolutely. Because if we only had the Gospels, though it would be great, though, if you know, the old, the New Testament, if we only had the Gospels and the Acts and, and those things and the letters, like, yes, we could gain a lot from that. But if we don't read the Old Testament, if we don't study the Old Testament and really realize how far that man came when man failed, but yet God helped restore and that we made covenant with God to get to this place that we can now say, you know, yes, the Holy Spirit dwells within me and within my heart, you know, in the Old Testament. And you read these things of the heart being wicked. The heart is deceitful. But when we can have the Holy Spirit living within us and in our spirit and in our hearts, then we're not leaded and we're not guided by just our own heart, but the Holy Spirit within us that's leading and guiding us. But we have to understand that it is through years and years and decades of 
Old Testament teaching and people being faithful to God and leaders coming through that get us to this point here. And so I just want to encourage you that as you are studying, as you're reading, uh, yes, be in the New Testament, read all that stuff too, but don't be afraid to go back into the Old Testament and really see what God was doing, that he was setting a platform that when Jesus comes, that he fulfills everything together. So thank you for watching this. Hopefully you gain something from it. God bless.